What is automation testing? Automation testing is a process of using automation tools to execute pre-scripted tests on a software application before it is released into production. What are the advantages of automation testing? The advantages of automation testing include improved test coverage, faster test execution, improved accuracy, and reduced human error. What are the limitations of automation testing? The limitations of automation testing include the high cost of automation tools, the need for specialized skills to create and maintain test scripts, and the inability to test certain aspects of an application, such as usability and user experience. What is the difference between verification and validation in software testing? Verification is the process of ensuring that a product, service, or system meets the specified requirements and standards. Validation is the process of ensuring that the product, service, or system meets the needs and requirements of the end user. What are the different types of test automation frameworks? The different types of test automation frameworks include linear script, modular, data-driven, keyword-driven, and hybrid. What are the key components of a test automation framework? The key components of a test automation framework include the test library, test scripts, data repository, test data, and reporting system. What are the common programming languages used for test automation? The common programming languages used for test automation include Java, Python, Ruby, C Sharp, and JavaScript. What is an automated test script? An automated test script is a set of instructions that is used to run an automated test case. It is created using a programming language and is executed by an automation tool. What is a test data repository and why is it important for automation testing? A test data repository is a centralized location for storing test data that can be used across multiple tests. It is important for automation testing as it saves time and effort in creating and maintaining test data for each test scenario. What is a test plan and how do you create one for automation testing? A test plan is a document that outlines the objectives, scope, approach, resources, and schedule for a testing project. To create one for automation testing, you need to identify the test scenarios, define the automation tool and framework, create the test scripts, and define the test data and environment requirements. What is continuous integration and how does it relate to test automation? Continuous integration is the practice of merging code changes from multiple developers into a central repository frequently. It relates to test automation as it involves automating the build, testing, and deployment process to detect and fix errors early in the development cycle. How do you choose the right tool for automation testing? To choose the right tool for automation testing, you need to consider factors such as the testing requirements, available budget, technical expertise of the team, compatibility with the application under test, and support for integration with other tools. How do you ensure the test environment is properly set up for automation testing? To ensure the test environment is properly set up for automation testing, you need to identify the hardware and software requirements, create a clean environment for testing, configure the necessary tools and libraries, and automate the setup process wherever possible. What is the difference between unit testing and automation testing? Unit testing is a type of testing that focuses on individual units or components of an application, while automation testing involves using tools and scripts to automate the testing process across multiple units or components. 
How do you handle dynamic elements in test automation? To handle dynamic elements in test automation, you can use techniques such as using regular expressions, identifying the element based on its position, using partial matches, or using weight statements to ensure the element is present before interacting with it. What is the importance of test reporting and analysis in automation testing? Test reporting and analysis is important in automation testing as it helps identify the root cause of failures, track the test progress, measure the effectiveness of the test cases, and provide feedback for continuous improvement. How do you handle test failures in automation testing? When a test fails, first we need to identify the root cause of the failure. Then, we need to analyze the cause and update the test script to fix the issue. Finally, we need to rerun the test to ensure it passes. What is the role of version control in automation testing? Version control helps in maintaining the history of changes made to the test scripts. It also helps in managing multiple versions of the same script and collaborating with other team members working on the same project. How do you ensure test scripts are maintainable and reusable? We can ensure maintainability and reusability of test scripts by designing them in a modular and object-oriented way. We can also use frameworks and design patterns that promote code reuse and maintainability. What are the common challenges faced in automation testing and how do you overcome them? Some common challenges in automation testing include test script maintenance, test data management, and test environment management. We can overcome these challenges by using a systematic approach to test automation and by using the right tools and technologies. What is the difference between functional and non-functional testing? Functional testing is concerned with the behavior of the system while non-functional testing is concerned with the performance, scalability, and security of the system. Functional testing ensures that the system meets the functional requirements, while non-functional testing ensures that the system meets the non-functional requirements. How do you ensure compatibility testing in automation testing? We can ensure compatibility testing in automation testing by testing the system on different platforms, browsers, and devices. We can also use cross-browser testing tools and emulators to simulate different environments. What is regression testing and how is it handled in automation testing? Regression testing in automation testing is the process of retesting the software or application to ensure that recent changes in the code base have not affected previously working functionality. It is handled by creating automated regression test suites to run regularly to detect any issues. How do you ensure security testing in automation testing? Security testing in automation testing can be ensured by using automated tools like vulnerability scanners and penetration testing tools that can test the application for security loopholes and provide feedback on areas that need improvement. What is the future of automation testing? The future of automation testing looks promising as companies continue to invest in automation to increase efficiency reduce errors, and save time and money. Why is it worth subscribing to our YouTube channel? By subscribing to our YouTube channel, you will have access to a wealth of knowledge and insights about automation testing from industry experts, which can help you stay ahead of the curve in your career.